the way back, and I just let off the brakes nice and easy. Let the airplane roll forward a little bit, and then smoothly push both brakes when the airplane stops. Then I push the brakes all the way to make sure they're uh, firm and uniform. Okay, so you have the brakes. I have the brakes. You have the controls. controls. Yeah, you have the controls. Great. So let the airplane roll forward just a little bit, then smoothly press both brakes when the airplane stops. Press all the way. Make sure they're firm and uniform. Good. There. Great. All right, so you have the control still, so right hand on the throttle, left on the on the yoke, it's calm, so we'll keep the yoke all the way back. Uh, let's go ahead and go out here to the right, so let off the brakes. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Skyline 2, 1, 2, Push with your right foot a little please. bit and add a little bit of rudder. Loud and clear, clear. Five, right. five, five. Perfect. Then we'll follow this yellow line to the right, so push a little bit harder with your right rudder. Five, right. Great, and then before you get to that heading, you kind of add with the opposite rudder to stop the turn. Good, and then we'll follow this line out to the left. And using a little bit of brake if you need it. So if you need to turn a little bit quicker, just kind of tap the brake while keeping the rudder pushed down fully. Good, then here we look left, stay clear left if nobody's coming. Clear left. Great, and clear right. Clear right. So we're, go we're clear to turn to the left. Traffic Cessna 36 Mac Echo 10 miles north of the airport, Street A, Roll 017, all right. Notice that the defrost is coming up a little bit. These are two little defrost uh, vents are up there on the top. So it'll work here as we get going a little bit more. 200 last call of our state. We're eastbound. All right, what I'd like you to do here is just do little tiny S turns again like we did last time. Uh, just using the rudders and then we'll incorporate the brakes here in a second. So what was it like driving after flying last time? <laughs> a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is go just a couple feet to the right so that the center line is on your left tire. Go look out the window, try and uh, keep your left wheel on the center line. That's about as fast as we want for a taxi, so bring the throttle back a little bit. Again, we always slow down first by using throttle, then brakes after that. Great, now try and keep the nose wheel on the center line. It should feel as though the yellow line is coming through your right knee and your right elbow. That's kind of the parallax that's there. It's harder to steer than you. Sure, and it'll very quickly become second nature to you. Um, by the middle of next week, you'll be able to do it, no sweat. You won't even have to think about it. What I'd like you to do here is when you're doing those Four, little tiny guys. turns, Three, look out at seven those miles, trees, for one, seven, and then with now, your peripheral three, vision, three, reference three, something that's attached to right. the airplane. And try and notice the absolute smallest movements. That'll really come into play when we're flying, and especially coming into land. 1,300 above Woodburn, falling I-5, northbound Aurora. Good, and then let's try and get back on the center line. Uh, probably two more feet to the left. You guys have room to get around us? Yeah, we got a uh, file for a clearance and anyway, or ask for a clearance, so we'll be a little while. Whoever's first is great. Yeah, we're just going to the so the center so, line's uh, right about here, in your here way, actually. So go about one I'll more right foot here. to the right. So my hand is representing the center line. A little bit more to the uh, right. We're going to go on that back corner. Perfect. Right right around you and, and that's we'll that's where away. the center line is about right in this. Uh, a little bit more to the left. There we go. Yeah, right in that range. You can also lean your head over to the side where you're looking right down the compass just to get familiar with where the center of the airplane is. Yeah. 
And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and have the controls here as uh, as we'll approach the run-up area. Yeah, May I have the controls? Yeah, I have the controls. Three miles, three for one seven on the RNAV, low approach only, Aurora. Uh, this TBM, the low-wing airplane, is kind of in a weird position. What we want to do is, because there's big airplanes that take off out of here, we want to go as far into this cul-de-sac as we can. Uh, so that the airplanes with the big wings can get past us. I'm going to add a little bit of power before I turn. And see how I, um, I straighten the nose wheel and kind of shimmy my feet? Great. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the parking brake on here because there's an airplane in front of us. So Our press with your toes and then pull the seat brake and then yeah, twist it. In a river at north, north, east, down. Good, uh, pull it a little harder. There you go. Good, good. So it should be set. All right. Now we're going to do the run-up check. Uh, so I'll give this to you. And that's, uh, it's this run-up checklist right there, which starts on the next page. Uh, but what we'll do is we're going to do a flow. You guessed, right? The flow starts with environment first. So, uh, first of all, doors, windows, close, both left and right. Check my handles here. It's down. Uh, Seatbelts are on. Front, Chris, seatbelt on? Yep, seatbelts on. Great. And then uh, we look around. Now we uh, make sure our brakes are set which they are. Good, I'm on the brakes as well. Then we do that box check. So go ahead and grab the yoke with your thumbs up. Pull it all the way back. Great, and then to the right. Aileron should be up and then look Aurora down back to the three elevator. Three the three elevator three should three be up. Three five, three five, okay. All the way to the left. Aileron is up and then push all the way forward while keeping left aileron in there. Great, and then at the end, kind of wiggle it from that point. Great, so then we say controls are free and correct. Controls are free and correct. Excellent, very good. Let's go with our flow, so uh, fuel shut out, or fuel and both shut off in. Trim is set. Make sure we can go rich. Squeeze with your thumb. There you go, we'll come back to the throttle. Uh, actually, we can go ahead and do throttle. So keep uh, your left hand on the yoke all the way back. Smoothly increase your throttle to 1,700. Aurora traffic up to 2304, whiskey at 1,300. Excellent, then lock the throttle. Following I-5, northbound. Great, and then with your left hand, so take control of the yoke with your right hand. Essentially switch hands there. Okay. Then free up your left hand, grab the keys with your left hand. Then now this is very critical to only go two clicks to the left. So one to the left, two to the left, great. Notice the RPM dropped about 100. Yep. It's smooth, it's not really rough. Now very critical to only do two to the right. So one, go ahead, go one to the right, two to the right. Now it's on both. Yep. It's smooth climb back to about 17. Yep. And then only one to the left. We've shut down half of the spark plugs. It feels the same, sounds the same. It's good, no more than 150 RPM drop. And only one to the right, please. Excellent. And then from there, we go over to our engine gauges. So our oil temps, it is in the green now. Yep. Our pressure is still in the green. Fuel is looking good. Yep. Uh, this will not register because we're at a relatively low power setting. That's exhaust gas temperature. The fuel flow about five an hour, which is normal. Our vacuum gauge is in the green. Yep. Amp is great. And with the amps, reach down here to pitot heat. Turn your pitot heat on and watch. Uh, actually, you reach over to your taxi light. Go ahead, turn the pitot heat off. Reach over to your taxi light. Flip that on and off, and the should jump a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really show it. There we go. The flap needle, or the flap will do it a little bit. See the amp gauge go oh, up yeah, and down? Yeah. Cool. So that means the alternator is working. Go ahead, turn the taxi, taxi back up. on. Uh -huh. You can also shut down the alternator. So the left half of the master switch, only the left half. Good, see the apps go yep. down? Yep. Great. Go ahead, turn back. Skyline 21230, departing runway 35, we'll depart to the uh, west of the downwind. We're going to Aurora. keep the engine running at this to let it warm up a little bit more. Uh, go ahead, press this and twist to match that. So it should be 215. So press that up, twist it a little bit to the right. 215. Great. All right, our attitude indicator is set. These two instruments aren't jumping around too much. We're not gonna do anything with this today. 
and then come back down. Everything's set with the radios. I'll take the radios today. Now bring the throttle back smoothly to 1,000 or below. Excellent. Very good. And then go right over to the mixture and lean it again for ground operations. Perfect. Before we take off, this will go full. All right. And then we come over here, radios are set, I'll take care of those. Transponder, we'll get that here in a second. Everything else is good, so now we verify. So go through the checklist and just verify that we did everything. Got a guy on a bike using the taxi way. Aura traffic 630. I think it's Pacific Coast Avionics are probably doing a compass swing with this uh, TBM up here. For our state skyline 21230, turning left crosswind runway 35, we'll deport off the downwind lake to the west. So enunciators, we checked that earlier, okay. and there's none blinking at us. And we did our altimeters, remember we listened to it, we said it once, twice, this is our... Uh, KLN 94, and this is our cap 140. Is turning on left yeah. downwind uh, but the MET system, we didn't do that. That's the trim, electric trim. So remember with your left hand, uh, do one of these first, and then right, the other one second, two, three, zero, and the four, trim does not move. That's good. Now, two miles northwest. good, and it does not move. Now I use five, both, four, four, and it moves. Go the other way. It moves. Great. Now with your right hand, while your left thumb is moving the trim either way, press that red button. Uh, that one right there. So move the trim. Good, and it stops it. That's good. That's a safety feature there. Aurora traffic. Excellent. So MET system checks out. Right, and keep going through the checklist to verify. Vacuum, we did check that, one of those little gauges over there. Cool, Good. we're yeah. all set. All right, let's go ahead and stow the checklist now. Okay. Okay. Aurora, now we uh, do what's called the lights camera area. Either action. One, you ready to go, this is the white teal 12. Yeah, we're doing a compass swing. Uh, we'll be turning a little bit more here if that's enough room to get around us. Yeah, I think I can make it. All right, so lights make sure our taxi and strobe lights are on. Actually, I make it in front of you here. Correct. Yeah, coming in between you. Go ahead. Uh, the crazy things you see at Aurora Airport, right? Okay. And then camera is our transponder, so twist this over to altitude, please. Great. And then action. So action is a mixture, so go ahead and push it in. Uh, trim. Trim is set. And flaps are zero. So lights, camera, action is good. Uh, go ahead and release your parking brake. And I still have the controls just to maneuver around this TBM here. I have the controls. I have the controls. I have the controls. So I unlock the throttle, pull the yoke back. Get a little, uh, I guess he's moving too. So I really need to get momentum before I try and use the brakes. Brakes don't work really well unless you have uh, momentum. Our uh, traffic up to 2304, whiskey 1305 miles north. So notice I release the power before I use the brakes. Hello, Aurora, traffic experimental 112, Victor Alpha taking the active runway 35, position and hold. All right, well, you all set? Yep. Awesome. What we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through every step. You'll have the controls for the takeoff. I'll be ghosting the controls, so I'm right there if you need me. I won't let you do anything crazy. And uh, I'll walk you through the takeoff. We'll climb straight until we get to about 900 feet, and then we'll make a left turn, continue climbing, and then go southwest uh, toward Newburgh. You know, wait till this little guy takes off. And then while we're here, we look for traffic in this area. We're listening to see if anybody's uh, coming in as well.
So that run up, or from start to finish, uh, to where we are right now, took 0.4 hours. So anywhere between 18 and 24 minutes. When we get good at it, it should take 0.2, maybe 0.3. Um, so it's, I'm not saying that to rush you or put a time limit on it, but it's just to gauge, you know, progress. So, yeah. What's that little? Uh, that's an RV-12. So. The high, or Vans aircraft is world famous for home build aircraft, and they're based here at the south end. Forties is going to be giving one of those away. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Looks so, a lot like that same. Yeah. Good. Have your right hand on the throttle, and look left and right. And then we'll go ahead and take the runway, and I'll use the radio. Uh, traffic on the crosswind. This is one one two Victor Alpha. Do you mind if I uh, cut in front of you? Yeah, no problem. I got inset. Well, our traffic, Skyhawk 172, Jelly Victor is departing runway 35 to the southwest via the left 45 departure. Let both left cross when traffic's inside Aurora Stay. And Aurora is traffic. Now we'll add a right rudder here and a little bit of power. Runway 35 to the one runway center line. A little bit of right brake as you need it there. Good. All right, center of the nose. We'll just keep rolling here. All right, smoothly add full power. Aurora, should take about two zero, seconds to put in full power. Down, one, three, five, number two, okay, yep, go ahead, push in full power all the way, all the way, push it in all the way, and twist and lock the throttle. A little bit of right rudder, very small rudder movements. Keep your hand there, don't move it away. Right rudder, right rudder. Great, let's go ahead, pull back on the oak. We're gonna go flying. There we go, and just hold the nose right there. Tap the brakes. Uh, That's right, tap the brakes. Good. And lower the traffic. nose a little bit. One, two, Victor Alpha, turn left face, run Right to where the horizon is cutting through, just barely below the glare shield. All right, traffic, the one to find my call. And hold about so five to seven call pounds call of pressure on your right foot. GPS. So we oh, want the we wings level. Push. Use your Keep hands on. for that. Keep up. All right, traffic. 